I was chasing over from that shelf. I'm not sure it was gonna work out, but I just got it at a Benedetta and I wanna talk about it. Big change. So Paul Verhoeven is, uh, for many people, just a master filmmaker. He's made everything from uh, incredible sort of action, um, surrealist satires, to um, really beautiful character pieces, to these strangely erotic and libidinous films. Um, um, he, he, he had a career in Europe, went to Hollywood, um, had all kinds of issues making things that people either loved or hated and somewhere in between, has come to Europe and has made these um, quite remarkable movies over the years. Benedetta is certainly not going to be for everyone, but I absolutely adored it. It is this amazing tonal collision. It is, it is at moments just absolutely, frankly, just this amazing bout of sort of religious purity and this sort of like really dark, sick um, uh, revenge piece all at one. You have incredible performances throughout Charlotte Ramp. Oh my God. Um, but you basically have the notion of what it is to believe in something about what you're going to get from it, what you're building as an institution, what lies you have to tell yourself to succeed, all playing out within this uh, sort of grand scheme. It's the people that sort of want to build the mechanisms of the state or the institution or the convent, whether or not they actually believe in the actual sort of underpinning stories we have to tell ourselves to get by on a regular basis and whether or not those stories will sort of be overcome by simple moments of somebody showing up and telling a better lie than you. Um, it's really, truly stellar, um, based on, a, in part, on a true story, but really takes the sort of Joan of Arc um, a general narrative, twists it on its head, and creates something far more cynical and far more seductive than anything that we've seen before. As I said, visually, it is just stunning. It looks like uh, something, uh, uh, it almost uh, feels like a tapestry at time, like you're seeing something of a different age. And yet um, it, it's shot and uh, performed in such a beautifully contemporary way. Just absolutely adored it. Incredible performances, great use of music, great use of tension, and great use of this sort of, um, sort of back and forth. It's incredibly humorous at times. There's a real dark cynicism throughout the whole thing that for me absolutely makes it work and elevates it from being, you know, a simple moral piece. It's philosophically deep, it's performance rich, it's got all the ingredients that you really want. It's why you come to a festival like Cannes to actually see a film like this as early as possible and just simply experience just the sort of unabashed cinematic lust that somebody like Verhoeven can actually give. As I said, I think people will be very shocked by it. Some people won't be shocked enough. It's the sort of weird balance. But I think that if you give in to its pace, if you give in its, to its, its proximity to this, this notion of that we can deceive those that we are closest to, including ourselves, in order to tell something that we need to actually advance or get by. Um, there's a lesson in there, it's a dark lesson indeed, but there's there's something certainly to be said for that. Benedetta, I think, is truly one of the great films of this festival, if not one of the great films of the year already. How's that for hyperbole just walking out of the theater? But really, it's, it's the feeling that you know a master who's absolutely telling the story the way that he wants, in the way that he wants to tell it. It's quite, quite extraordinary. So there we are, Benedetta from the Canada International Film Festival. Sorry if the shaky cam isn't working. I just sort of showed up and just uh, wanted to uh, uh, bring bring um, a little bit of sense of what's uh, taking place here. You can see during COVID, look at all the crazy lineups and nobody actually staying anywhere close to each other like they should be. But nonetheless, it's, it's very interesting, again, to watch a film about plague, about um, persecution, about trying to protect oneself and then being deceived all taking place during this insanely uh, complex time of COVID. Benedetta truly is remarkable, and I can't wait for more of you to see it. For ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Please subscribe, please check out our other videos, and uh, we'll see you next time. All the best. Take care.